Well, in this module we'll have a look at setting up SE Linux and see that this may vary with regards to the different distributions. Also we'll check the installation on Red Hat and see what is default and what needs to be added to get all of its features. And then we'll go into the different configuration options. Now, let's first have a look at the installation. On some distributions like Red Hat, Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, CentOS and Fedora, they all have SE Linux installed by default. Others like Ubuntu, Debian, SUSE and most of the Ubuntu Debian derivatives use AppArmor. Well, it's a fact that SE Linux is quite complex where AppArmor is very intuitive. But having said that, SE Linux gives you way more control and really isolates applications where AppArmor has less features to secure at the level that SE Linux can. Now, SE Linux is not exclusive to only Red Hat based distributions, but it's not surprising that SE Linux is the default mandatory access control system on Red Hat systems. And also, not all packages that are needed for troubleshooting and other advanced features are available for other distributions like Debian. So, of course, you could install SD Linux on Debian or Ubuntu, but it is really not very well integrated and you will miss quite some functionality. So, to make the most of it, we will stick with Rocky, which is, as you probably know, the community version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now before we start talking about states and modes, we'll first need to check whether all software is installed. And as we discussed earlier, not all software is installed by default. So we find out that there definitely is a basic SE Linux environment installed on a default installation of Rocky. But when we check for some more advanced commands that we already saw, like for example SE Manage, we see that this is not available. And the same goes for SE Alert. Both of these commands are not installed on this default installation. And when we check for the package that contains the SE alert command, we see that it's the troubleshoot package. And the SE manage command is part of yet another package. So what I did is I listed all the packages that can additionally be installed and decide to simply install them all so that I will never miss a command when I need it. Let's just do that. By the way, you will find all these packages and whatever other information is needed in the resources section of this training. And once the installation has started, we uh, probably have to wait for some five minutes or so before we can continue. But we're not going to wait for that now, if you don't mind. So let's start with setting up as a Linux for the first time. 